Hi, I'm really excited to show you today how quick it is to apply mascara and makeup. Um, what I typically do in the morning is wash my face. Um, I do use the Tres Leches skincare line. Um, I also use a toner and a moisturizer. So if you have something that's working really well for you already, you can continue to use that. Um, if you are interested in working some wonders on your skin, if you have super dry or even oily skin, um, we have some great products that we can offer you. But um, my face is already washed and toned and I typically don't put moisture in the morning because I have pretty oily skin. So um, what I do is tie my hair back I'm going to be using the mascara palette, which um, is my customized to my skin. Um, so you can kind of see the colors that you have I have in here. Um, you, I do have two um, highlighters that I use, and then I have two lip and cheek colors as well, just to give myself some variety. But I want to show you how quick and easy it is. So at this point, we're one minute into the video, um, and I like to start with my highlight. I use a lighter color under my eyes to give it a brightening effect. Um, the amount of makeup that you use is very, very minimal. So a little bit goes a long way and as you can see, um, I barely have any on the end of this brush and I'm just blending it in. It'll look a little bit crazy in the beginning because the key to um, the flawless finish is going to be the perfecter, which I will show you. And that's the last step and that's going to make that makeup look flawless. So if I look a little clownish, it's only for a little while. Now, if I still look clownish when we're done, tell me. All right, so again, I'm just doing my highlight color um, if you choose to purchase the makeup, I will show you a few different tips as far as application. This is just to show you my morning routine and how quickly, um, what I put on applies as well as how easy it is. I'm definitely not and have never been a makeup guru by any means. Um, so you can see in just a few weeks time how I've been able to to get this down okay and then the next thing I'm going to be applying is going to be my contour which is right there for me that color is indigo and again I'm just putting a very minimal amount I'm going to um, define my cheekbones Sorry about the weird faces. I tend to make weird faces when I apply makeup, so. All right, so now as you can see, I've got my contour on both sides. Again, it may look a little clownish, but we are going to blend that in. Um, and you won't even know it's there. I do put mine on a little bit out of order. There's a couple of recommended ways to apply it. Typically you would do your contour first and then your highlighter. Um, but I like to apply it in a certain way. So again, just showing you my routine, what's worked really well for me. And if you decide to purchase the makeup or if you have purchased the makeup, um, I've got a couple of other application videos that I can send you um, that will give you some options on how to apply it. And now I'm going back in with my contour color and set this down so I can pull back my hair, applying it above my forehead. Again, I am just tapping the tip of this brush into the compact tin. Um, so there's a very minimal, minimal amount on there. And then just to outline the jawline, it's going to create a wonderful shadow um, that helps us ease the appearance of maybe a double chin. And then lightly blend this down onto my neck. 
I have kind of baggy skin under my eye, so I have to really get in there finely. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stay spray and my perfecter and spray just a little bit on the end. Um, the stay spray is awesome. The summer one has SPF 30 in it. Our makeup does not have SPF, so if you're not using a moisturizer that already has SPF in it, it's a really great idea to get the one with SPF. But again, the setting spray is really awesome. It's going to help your makeup stay longer. And um, if you choose not to use the setting spray, you're just going to dampen this perfecter um, and tap it all over your face. Again, that's making that application more smooth. And then the last thing I'm going to be doing is applying my blush, which is right there. It's called a lip and cheek color. And the cool thing about these colors is they can be doubled, just a minimal amount on the skin. Um, they can be doubled. Oh, that was a lot. The great thing about this is it's cream, so you can correct it. <laughs> um, but they can double as a, a lip color as well. This color is called Nude. Um, I love this color. It's very neutral. Oh, I got a lot of color. Like I said, the great thing about this is you can correct any mistakes that you make. Um, and it'll take you a little while to learn the application method. I don't typically make mistakes like that, <laughs> but we're going to roll with it. All right. And so again, I'm just blending that blush in to my contour. And because I put a little too much blush on, I'm going to come back in with my highlighter and just clean this up a little bit. I don't want to have too much red close to my nose. So we are right at six minutes since I started and at this point I'm pretty much done. Um, the only thing that I'm still going to do is put on a little bit of bronzer um, and I've got the brush that we would typically use for that and I like to just put it right now because it's summertime um, just to kind of give me a little bit of extra color and basically you're just going to apply this in all the areas that the sun would typically hit your face. And one final thing is my illuminator which um, we have a couple of different colors but it's going to be this white color that's on the far side here and I just tap my finger in that and then make sort of a C around my eye just to give it a little bit of extra brightness and then over the forehead above my lip and then as I said these colors can double as lip and cheek color so I'm using black cherry today for my lips and you can actually apply it with your finger. I typically try to keep with the brush just because I don't like the idea of putting my finger in my makeup, but you absolutely can just put it on with your finger. Perfect. Um, so now I'm going to put in my earrings and hairspray my hair and show you how this wonderful makeup looks for the day. All right, that was eight minutes, ladies. Eight minutes if you do not have a lot of time in the morning to get ready for work um, and you hate applying makeup that takes forever and ever, you've got contour, blush, your highlighter, beautiful um, kind of popping out the eyes, a um, little bit of, um, shadowing under the chin and you are good to go. This makeup lasts all day, especially with the setting spray. It's really awesome. Um, you don't need to touch up throughout the day um, and you are good to go. So if you feel like this something, this might be something that's a good match for you, um, send me a message and let me know so we can chat.